out of savagery would have to remind gentlemen with 5,000 years of recorded civilization behind them of our Bill of Rights when my husband and I moved to Juno we started a home in a nice neighborhood where our children could play happily with our neighbors children and we found such a house and had arranged to lease it but when the owners had learned that we were Indian they said no 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 would we be compelled to live in the slums? Even now there are doors to schools close to our children. And signs that make it quite clear that I, as well as dogs, are not allowed in certain establishments. Many of the hotels and restaurants turn us away. Well, discrimination, 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 discrimination occurs in many ways, let me assure you. There are three kinds of persons who practice discrimination. First, the politician who likes to maintain an inferior minority group so that he can always promise them something. Second, well, the Mr. and Mrs. Jones who aren't quite sure of their social position and, and so are kind to you on one occasion and can't see you on the next depending on who they are with. Third, the great Superman who believes in the superiority of the white race. Well, it is this kind of perpetuated thought that solves the segregate and discriminate. In the answer to the Senator Shadow's earlier question, we believe that the passage of the bills will eliminate discrimination. Well, have you eliminated larceny or murder by passing a law against it? No law will eliminate crime. But at least you as legislators can assert the law that you recognize the evil of this present situation and speak your intent to help us overcome discrimination for all Alaskans. 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 For all Alaskans.